Hello, I'm Brad Lokley, and welcome to Fruit Cocktail, your martini shaker full of everything galerious about this week's pop culture. So grab your seat, grab a glass, and grab your ankles, because here we go. In this week's top news, mmm, tops. Former governor and massive steroid abuser Arnold Schwarzenegger got served divorce papers this week, following his love triangle with his wife, Maria Shriver, and a Guatemalan maid. Jeez, talk about between a rock and a hard place. It's nice to know that even though he wasn't pro-immigration as a governor, he still managed to get behind immigration in the long run. What's amazing is that no one saw this coming. I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> I just threw up in my mouth a little. Pop singer Kesha, what, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Kesha has struck up a deal with Lifestyle Condoms to create 10,000 condoms with her face on the wrapper. <laughs> Here's hoping the condoms perform better than she does. Now a few other celebrities are jumping on the bedroom bandwagon. Lady Gaga is coming out with a line of meat flavored dental dams. Madonna is endorsing the Today Sponge, which, much like Madonna herself, nobody uses anymore. And Betty White has created her own line of prune-flavored vagina tonic for when you need to get everything moving. Remember former Baywatch star Jeremy Jackson? Aw, oh, cute kid. Yeah, well, he's joined this season's cast of Celebrity Rehab because he says he's addicted to vitamin supplement injections, human growth hormone, and fitness. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. But you know why I don't necessarily buy that this fitness thing is an addiction? Because you rarely ever see a crack whore trying to give a BJ to a dude in a dark alley for a 30-day trial membership to Lucille Roberts. In the season premiere, Jeremy shares some interesting theories he has about water. This is my blender and water filter machine that I brought. What's wrong with bottled water? It's that plastic leaches and causes cancer. And right. uh, bisexuality, it's been linked to directly. Minerals in water. Yeah. <laughs> causes bisexuality. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, H2, no. Yeah, Jeremy, if your theory holds true, you should know that your brawny body is made up of 60% water. And me liking those odds. <laughs> Logo Gogo is where we recap what's happening on America's premier LGBT channel, in between five-hour back-to-back reruns of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, I don't know why either. Before we enter into season two of The Real Housewives of Homosexuality, let's recap where we left off last season. Ex-reality star turned department store mannequin, Riken Lam... Lambs, wool, I don't know how to say that. You know what I mean. The guy from Amazing Race who looks like a rent boy, him. Just like the real Real Housewives, he took his turn at pretending to be a pop star. Kim Zolziak is gonna flip her wig. She wanted my wings, but sh did she really know me? And then, um, see this is where I'm nervous. And by nervous, do you mean flat? I think you mean flat. Up to the sky, up to the sky. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. You know I love you up to the sky. Well, at least they can auto-tune the hell out of him. I mean, no one would be crazy enough to have Riken perform that in front of a live audience. Oh, crap. My God, he is sweating like me at a Fred Phelps family reunion. <laughs> Over at Logo's other hit series, RuPaul's Drag Race, three fatties made it past episode one, which is a first in Drag Race history. But there's one Zoftic Zaza who stood out, and that would be Miss Stacy Lane Matthews. Danger, Will Robinson. Stacy Lane Matthews is on the run. Mm-mm-mm. That is one gender-bending baked potato. Her clone does not sleep alone. I didn't know they made Jiffy Pop in diabetes flavor. <laughs> and finally on RuPaul's Untucked show, one of the girls gave the kind of compliment only a drag queen can give. A compliment that feels a lot like a donkey punch. Yeah, 
Yes, you was baking the cakes. Yeah, uh, she was yeah. shaking the cakes, Miss Thing. I said, that is Mother Thunderpuss. Yes, yeah. Mother Thunder, Mother Thunder. <laughs> That is probably the nicest, meanest thing anyone has ever said to Stacy. Coincidentally, Mother Thunderpuss is also Kirstie Alley's scream name on eHarmony. <laughs> when Fruit Cocktail prances onward, we'll show you how our troops in Afghanistan are spending time now that Osama bin Laden is dead. We'll learn that Greece has got talent and that that piano has herpes. And find out why Ben Cohen is our breeder of the week. When we return to Fruit Cocktail, don't go anywhere, or we'll talk about you. <laughs>